What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to be bringing you the LaunchBox news. LaunchBox 7.11 was released and there are some awesome new performance tweaks and features built in that you guys have to try out. I'm going to go over a few of them here and show you what my favorites are. There are tons. The change log will be listed in the description so you can go check out all the new features and tweaks. The first new feature I want to show you guys is probably my favorite built into the new update. It's called Launch With. Just gonna right click on a game. We now have a new option to launch with. As you can see, I have two Nintendo 64 emulators set up inside of LaunchBox. Some of these games perform better under Project 64. Some of them work good in RetroArch. Now with the new launch with feature, we can go ahead and choose which emulator we wanna play a game with on the fly. Very easy to do. The next new feature I wanna show you is called Change ROM Folder Path. So let's say you took your ROMs out of your LaunchBox games directory and put them on another hard drive. Let's say you're running out of space on your main drive. This is super easy to do. I'm just gonna control A to select all of these games, change ROM folder path, and I'm gonna find that directory. When I find that directory, I can highlight it, click OK. Now LaunchBox knows that I've moved all of my games to this new folder and we don't have to re-import them. Moving right along to some new big box features, now, I've always loved the cover flow system. It's just the way I love to organize my games. But there's a new feature called Wall View. Very easy to use, and it looks beautiful. I've already switched. I don't think I'm going back to cover flow because this is amazing. But if you're still into the cover flow system or you use another method to view your games, LaunchBox still has you covered because massive performance improvements have been implemented in 7.11 for big box in general. So everything should feel a lot smoother like your wheels and cover flow art. Just in general, big box has been updated with some awesome performance tweaks. Now I think it's time for a little bit of a community spotlight. The LaunchBox community is amazing. You guys make themes, intro videos, plugins that make LaunchBox so much easier for everybody else. Without you guys, LaunchBox wouldn't be what it is today. So we want to thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts. With that said, I want to show off an awesome plugin and some really great big box intro videos made by the community. First up, I have a plugin by NJDave71. This is Image Search 2.0. This is a plugin for LaunchBox. If you're not familiar with plugins, go ahead, join up on the forum. There's plenty to download and test out. I love this plugin. I'm gonna go ahead and demo it real quick within LaunchBox. I went ahead and imported some Atari 5200 games, but for some reason, Mario Brothers didn't scrape. I have NJDave71's Image Search 2.0 plugin installed. I'm gonna right click, Image Search, and it's gonna take me to a Google page where I can find any image I want on this game. I'm gonna right click, open in a new tab, copy the URL, close my browser, and I'm gonna paste it right in here. Download was successful, close out of here, right click the game, go to edit. We don't have any images, I'm just gonna double click. I'm gonna navigate to the plugins folder where I have NJ Dave's plugin installed. Downloads, Atari 5200, Mario Brothers. Okay, now I have the image I wanted for Mario Brothers on Atari 5200. This is a really great plugin for helping people find the art that they're missing from their LaunchBox setup. So a big shout out to NJDave71 for Image Search 2.0. Now I wanna show off some awesome community created big box intro themes. This is the Vice City intro made by our very own world-renowned James Baker. He has two variants, so you can pick and choose. I'm actually using this one on my personal big box setup right now. These big box intros are perfect for a launch box slash big box arcade cabinet. They add a lot of flair to your system. This is another one of my favorites. It's by Harry Oak. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right. Either way, you did an amazing job with this. He has another one on the forum called Cogs that will blow your mind. And finally in the community spotlight, we have a theme by Kelto Gale. This is called Blade Runner. In the description, it actually mentions that Blade Runner was an edit or redo of the modern mini theme, which was in turn based on the classic mini theme. The description states, I'm a theme playing the theme disguised as another theme. 
I think it's an awesome theme. You do need to download some specific assets to get this to work correctly, but it's definitely worth it and everything is available on the LaunchBox forum. All the links for everything you've seen here will be in the description. So that's it for this video, guys. We really hope you enjoy the new 7.11 update. Go ahead, give it a try. There are tons of features that I did not mention in this video. I'm gonna leave the change log down below so you can go see what has changed. Lots of optimizations, lots of performance improvements within Big Box. And if you haven't joined up with the LaunchBox forum, go ahead and do it. There are a lot of nice people over there. I know some people are very scared of forums, but these guys are very accepting. And if you got a question, they're gonna help you out, no problem at all. Like always, thanks for watching.